we are here today and we are talking all about warm-ups in the gym. Yes, those times where currently, probably right now, your warm-up consists of you plodding along on a treadmill, maybe just rotating your legs on an exercise bike, kind of mindlessly going through the motions because you feel like, you know, I've got to spend five to ten minutes doing fucking something and then then I'll go do some weights and then I'll go do my proper workout. So I want you to scrap that idea and we're going to show you how to warm up effectively so that you are primed, ready to roll, ready to grind out an awesome freaking workout so that you can actually get a bit closer to your goals, get the most out of every single workout and every single training session you do. So without further ado, let's get firing on soul cylinders. There's no fucking warm up to this podcast. We are straight balls deep into the episode. So let's talk about, first of all, what is the purpose of a warm up? Now, what is it not there for? It's not there for you to perv on the cute girl who likes the treadmill. I know you guys who strategically pick the piece of exercise equipment, the exercise bike, that's strategically behind the cute girl because you just want to watch her butt move for 10 minutes. You're a perv. There's no place for that in the gym. Move on. Do something else. Leave the girl to her workout. And it's not there so you can run through your Instagram notifications, respond to a bunch of messages for 10 minutes before you then say, well, actually, fuck it. I might as well get on with this freaking workout and do something. No, it's not for that. And it's definitely not so you can just have a chit chat with your gym buddy either. Guy or girl, there's no point in you just jumping on a treadmill just so you can just sort of plod along at two miles an hour and have a little bit of chat about what cat meme you saw online yesterday or what YouTube video you just watched or whatever it may be. It's not just so you can while away a couple of minutes and spend time talking bollocks. That's not what it's there for. What a warm-up is actually supposed to be doing is actually preparing yourself, specifically your muscles, and getting them ready for some intense exercise. Because I hope that's what you're doing. Anyway, hopefully you're doing some exercise that requires some effort and some push in the gym. You're not there just rolling through the motions and maybe doing a Zumba class. If you are, you're probably in the wrong place and listening to the wrong show. Anyway, so a warm-up is not putting on your hoodie and rotating your arms in big circles fast. That's not a fucking warm-up. That's just you feigning to be a warm-up. That's just you saying, well, i got to fucking do something, so I'll just yeah get my hoodie on, that I'll kind of get a sweat on, that'll make me look like fucking Rocky Balboa, and then I'll just say, you know, I'll just move my shoulders a little bit, backwards and forwards, round in circles, you know what I mean? That'll be fucking warm. Yeah, now I'm ready for a leg session. Now, hang on. You just rolled your shoulders. What the fuck's that got to do with your legs? Hmm, interesting. And kind of on that point as well, a warm-up is not fucking walking on a treadmill at snail's pace for five minutes on a treadmill when you're about to go do an upper body session. Again, it doesn't make fucking sense. You are not priming those muscles with which you are going to use to actually go forth and lift some weight. You are kind of just walking on a treadmill, fucking just, that's going to do fucking nothing. And lastly, but not least, the... Warm-up process is not so you can just really sit there and kind of fine-tune that gym playlist. It's not there for you to do that. It's not there for you to say, well, you know, if I put this song first, then, yeah, that'll get me really motivated. Then I'll put this song second, and that'll be awesome. And then, yeah, when I'm going to do squats, you've fucking wasted 20 minutes picking a fucking song. Move on. Do what you're supposed to be doing, and then kind of, yeah, just forget all that shit. Maybe the gym playlist has some relevance, but do that before you even get to the gym. Do that on your fucking evening or whatever. But, so a warm-up isn't this sort of thing where it's just idling by, wasting time, getting you hot. A warm-up is not about getting hot. Now, if you wanted to do that, just sit in a fucking, just put the radiator on at home in your hoodie and then fucking go to the gym or sit in the car with the heating on or put the heated seats on if you're a little bit posh and you put that heated seat on, get a nice warm butt. That's not warming up. It may be getting your glutes at different temperature, but it's not warming up. So when it comes to lifting, it's almost always exclusively about getting your muscles ready to lift some intense weight. You want to get your muscles firing. You want to get them working because there's no one 
in human existence that walks straight off of the street into the gym, straight under a squat rack, and does a PB from the first rep. It just doesn't happen that way. You have to get almost like mentally prepared, but also in terms of your muscles have to be physically firing. They have to be working. You have to kind of prime them ready to lift that fucking weight. So as I've talked before about the lift principles, I am Paradise Fitness. That's lock it, intent, force, tension, and tempo is that you want to be working with intent. So it's working with intent is focusing on the muscle that you should be using for that particular exercise. So if you are doing a bench press, you want to be making sure that when you are lifting that through your heavy sets, that you are using a lot of intent. You are using your pecs to actually shift that weight. You're not kind of idly using a lot of shoulder and a lot of other extraneous movement to try and move that weight. You are actually physically using the muscles that you intend to use and tend to work for that specific exercise. And the warm up is part of you actually priming those muscles. So if you do a very good warm up with lots of good activations, you should be activating your chest, getting your chest ready to you can you feel going in your in those muscles so can you feel that chest muscle working can you kind of contract it can you make it work can you feel it working is it therefore then priming for when you actually then go to actually use it and then if you do that process correctly you are going to be able to generate more force with that particular movement so your muscles can only truly work effectively if they become activated so this is what i would do so scrap all that treadmills for your upper body workout bullshit and let's focus on what you actually should do when you hit the gym now first of all i would start with a series of contractions of the muscles that are supposed to be worked now you can do this for most of you will either probably be doing upper body workouts lower body workouts or total body workouts which will be obviously a mixture of two now what i would in kind of program for my clients would be a routine that would be Firstly, focus with no weights whatsoever, but they will be just taking each muscle or major muscle that's going to be worked through its full contractile range. And then once they're at the end ranges of those ranges of motion, actually then creating some contractions by literally just squeezing that muscle. So for example, you could, it's very difficult for me for those that can't see the video here, but if I was to roll my shoulders forward as far as they go, and then kind of press my hands into the sides of my thigh. I'm getting a good contraction here in my chest, and that's in it kind of getting into a short position. I'm also getting some contractions here in the rear, rear delt, some stretching there. So that would be one way of doing it. So taking your muscles through all these different ranges of motion and getting contractions at the end ranges of those ranges of motion. So again, you could do uh, something related to your chest like that, squeeze it across like that. You can just kind of reach up to, you know, get your, your shoulders moving, scapula moving, all those different sorts of things. So basically, you're just trying to take muscles through their various different ranges of motion and creating contractions at the end of those end ranges. And then you just want to spend some time doing that. It only needs to be like five minutes, seven minutes, something like that. It doesn't need to take so freaking long. And then what you want to then do then is say, right, okay, now your program's probably designed, you've got some important exercises up front and then some accessory exercises towards the tail end of that program. Probably most programs are going to be some way, shape or form along those lines. So what you really want to do then is say, right, okay, my first lift is going to be bench press, let's say, for example. So you want to do some bench press warm up sets. So you've done your contractions, you're feeling your chest working. Now you're going to do some... Um, actual warm-up sets on your chest. So that would be what I would generally do is four sets. First set, 50% of your working weight and do that for 12 reps. Second set, the same weight for 10 reps, but slightly quicker. Then I'll do a third set at 75% of my working weight and do that six times. And then I would do the four set, 90% of my working weight, and I'd do that twice. So I'm just going through different rep ranges. I'm going through different loads and I'm getting my muscle really prepared to then at the end of that warm-up process to now I should be able to go and lift some heavy ass weight that's the kind of idea then you go through your normal uh, routine of whether it's three sets four sets two sets one set whatever it is you're fucking doing go and lift that weight and you should find that everything then sort of should be working at that point it should be firing you should be feeling it in the right places feeling it in the right muscles and it'll be working well then when it comes to like all your subsequent exercises after that it's really kind of 
how you feel. So, for example, if you went from some barbell bench presses to some incline bench presses, you probably don't need to do a full set of warm up sets again. You probably don't need to do four sets of warm up sets. You probably might need to do one, maybe even two, just to get the feel for that exercise, just to get the feel for the weight. And then you'll be straight into your working sets. So when I'm working with my clients, I would say that the first exercise, you do those full four warm up sets. Then for any subsequent exercise, you kind of just take it for how you feel. So if you feel like you do one and then you're not quite feeling it in the upper chest in that particular example, then do another one until the point at which you feel like, OK, got it right now. I feel like when I go for my top set, my working set is I'm actually going to get something out of this and it's going to actually work. So that would be my process. It's super simple, super simple for warm up. So ditch the fucking walking on a treadmill for, you know, 20 minutes. That's going to do fuck all for you getting actually warm and ready to go lift because that's what we want. Actually, then think about what muscle is it that I'm going to work either in this specific workout or in this specific section of my workout because you may want to split upper and lower body. Then going through this activation process. So you, if you're doing some Let's keep it on the, the bench press theme. If you're doing some bench pressing, you want to be looking at, okay, am I warming up? Am I contracting shoulders, triceps, chest, bit of scapular retraction as well? So make sure that's all working and in sync. Make sure all those muscles are firing. Then progress forward to the first exercise of your workout. Make sure you do a nice progression that gets you through some different rep ranges, gets you from different loads, so that by the time you've done that process, which is probably going to take you all in 10 minutes, including the contractions and including the warm-up sets, that first 10 minutes of your workout has meant that everything else you do after that is so much more effective and it's actually going to do so much more for you. So I hope you found this little bit of training useful. Hopefully now you go and employ this into your own training. You ditch those treadmills. Okay, you can keep your fucking hoodie on if that makes you feel like Rocky Balboa. But yeah, do that. Stop perving on the, uh, the cute uh, girl on the treadmill. And uh, yeah, do some proper activation, proper warm up and actually get the most out of your workouts. So if you enjoyed this and you want to find out more about me and what I do, I hang out most on Instagram. So at iron underscore paradise underscore fitness, you can come visit me on there. Drop me a DM. Say you listen to the show, you watch the video, wherever you kind of found me. And then tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of this warm up process. If you've gone out and tried it, tell me what you thought. Did it make a difference to your workout? Did it enhance things? Did it make it better? Am I now the messiah of lifting for you? If I am, great. Give me a five star rating on iTunes. Come on, help a brother out. Also, if you think, well, if this is just the information he gives about fucking warm ups, what is the other stuff he's going to give? This is going to blow my freaking mind. Well, in that case, I suggest you go and look at the link that I've provided in like the notes section, which will take you to my online coaching page. You can find out all what I do other than just talk bollocks into a microphone for 15 minutes. And we can then have a chat about maybe how we can take you from where you are now and maybe transform you into this like sexy, badass, sculpted, muscular, lean version of yourself that you really want to be. We can do all of that. No problem whatsoever. But for now, all I'm going to say is keep living the lean life. Thanks for listening to this episode and I'll speak to you soon.